Hey, you could just skip straight to the thing by going to this timestamp. Okay, so the commercial exists, but it's not anywhere online. I've been spending the last couple of weeks looking for it and contacting people that definitely would have a little more expertise in finding it. And I've been all over the place and I learned a lot of new things about Nickelodeon and its history from this, but the problem being it doesn't seem to be online anymore. The video essay that I made about two or three years ago just got a little update to a little issue I was having with the production of it. Um, there was a piece of lost media I was trying to find to show and somebody finally found it. Uh, I'm very attached to this personally, this is a big deal to me, so I'm just re-uploading it here because I want to make sure it gets saved in as many spots as possible. And if anybody's watching my essay, they could refer directly to it. Uh, that said, I am going to credit each and every person responsible with finding it uh, down in the description of this video. Uh, you can go to the, the original channel that I had it uploaded to, just want to make sure that everybody is properly credited. With that said, here is a closer look at Patrick's Rock from Spongebob. What's really beneath this famous rock? We'll take a closer look after the break. <laughs> Nick Extra, a closer look. Welcome to the home of Patrick's star. While the outside never changes, a closer look inside reveals Patrick's rock is never set in stone. Sometimes there's just sand. Other times, there's a small den. Occasionally, there's a large master bedroom. Or there's a fully furnished multi-room complex complete with eating kitchen, arch doorways, and high-def TV. Rock on. That's a closer look. Now back to the show.